Hey people, welcome. on. So today we're going to make um, some aloe vera infused oil and aloe vera leave-in condition. But just before we get to it, you know the drill. Press the subscribe button, press the like button. You know the drill. All right, now let's get to the video. So the first thing you want to do is get your aloe vera leaves and wash them up and get them all cleansed and ready to go. So now I'm gonna be cutting off the tail because I don't really need the tail. Not much um, gel is in those parts. So I'm cutting those off and then I'm going to cut off all the sides because you know the sides they have some real prickly things on them that can really stick in your fingers and hurt you so i'm getting rid of those sides the aloe vera is packed with a lot of nutrients that's beneficial to the hair nutrients like vitamins b2 by vitamin b6 vitamin b12 and vitamin b and vitamin c see so there I am cutting off the edges and at this point I'm now going to be cutting them in smaller pieces so that it's easier to deal with yes and then I'm cutting off the flat parts I'm so sorry you're not able to do what I'm doing clearly all right there we go so I'm cutting off that part so I could get to the gel. So I'm cutting them off of all of them, all the pieces. And you want to be very careful with this with the knife because it's very slippery. So you don't want the knife slipping somewhere and the gel slipping somewhere and then you cut your hand or hurt yourself. So be very careful with what you're doing. Right. Aloe vera can be used to treat alopecia. It can be used to moisturize your scalp. You can use it to stimulate hair growth and to treat dandruff. And also to reduce buildup on your scalp. Ooh, look at all that gel. All that meat inside. Ooh, mamma mia. <laughs> Got all of that juice. Uh, right there, I was thinking three leaves probably weren't enough, so I went and I got another one. So now I'm using four leaves. Now, don't mind that one up top there with the little brown dots. I got rid of it eventually when I noticed it was there. So that's all. That's my four leaves cut up in pieces. So now I'm going to get a spoon and I'm going, to, oh it's so slippery, <laughs> it kept falling out of my hand. So now I'm going to use a spoon to scoop it out of the leaf. Look at me, go, go, go. You can use a knife if you choose to, but I find that the spoon works better. Yes, and then I put it in my blender over there. I'm going to take another one. And I'm digging. I'm digging in. Yes, I waste nothing. I'm trying to get every single juice from that. Yes, all the juices. We waste nothing around here. <laughs> Aloe vera also treats hair loss and reduces hair thinning. And it also cools down your scalp. Aloe vera is really good. It's really, really good to use in your hair. It comes with a whole lot of benefits. It has antibacterial properties. It balances the scalp's pH. It treats fungus that may present itself on the scalp. It reduces parasites like head lice. 
it stimulates blood circulation look at that one how slippery it is <laughs> so big and nice and juicy so now at this point I'm going I put it in the blender and I'm adding some water to it now the amount of water you put in there is up to you and how much slip you want from your leave-in conditioner so I'm putting just that amount that's almost covering the top and then I'm gonna blend I accidentally pressed smoothie I wanted to press liquefy there we go and I'm blending and blending and blending away Ooh, look at all that froth it's gonna settle at this point I'm going to be straining it into a jar and I'm just waiting for it to go down I'm taking my spoon to help the process along you can do you can do it your way but this is how i do it to get rid of to get help the process along faster i use a spoon and i lift and i lift and there is it and i'm gonna do a second straining just to get rid of any excess residue from the aloe vera gel so i'm pouring it into a second container a pantyhose stocking would have probably been better and then I'm just shaking 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 to get so that I don't waste any of my liquid and that's all the, the aloe vera residue that I got from the strainer there's still a little bit of liquid that was left but that's fine so now I'm adding some olive oil and off camera I added a little bit more olive oil than that than what I just poured in right there this is some coconut oil and now some Jamaica black castor oil and then I stir all of that in now adding oils to your aloe vera juice is completely optional you don't have to add oils then I cover it and then I shake it some more just to get everything to blend nicely together and then I pour it into my spray bottle now I'm going to make the infused oil I'm cutting up the pieces uh, I didn't need to cut them up this small I wasn't thinking and I, I, I was thinking of something else and I accidentally cut them up that small but when you're doing it you don't have to cut them up that small because it's a lot of work when you cut them up that small because then I have to now go through and scoop out the gel from all of them so this is the end product of me having scooped out all the gel from those ones and now I am pouring my olive oil until it covers all the gel then I'm adding a few drops of coconut oil and then I'm taking my spoon and I'm beating out and mashing out the aloe vera to get all the juice the, uh, I, I, I later on used a fork because it was easier and it mashed the aloe vera better than the spoon was now a lot of people cook their oil and their aloe vera together to infuse them but I will not be applying any heat because I believe heat when applied to the oils will will destroy some of its potency so I'm just going to be putting my oil in a warm dark corner for about two days and let it ferment and infuse and then I take it out to use I'm putting the leave-in conditioner in the fridge and then I'm going to take them out and use them in my wash routine now this is what they look like as you can see naturally the water separates from the oil all you gotta do is shake it up when you're going to use it and you'll be fine now i'm testing the consistency to see how much slip it has and it's nice 
now the oil my infused aloe vera oil I could have mashed the aloe vera some more but yeah whatever but you can already see how much slip that has in there to be used in my pre-poo that's going to help me to detangle really nicely so yeah you could have also blended your aloe vera to make the oil as well if you wanted to you could have blended the aloe vera now here's a recap of the benefits of aloe vera So there you have it guys, how to make leave-in leave -in aloe vera conditioner and uh, aloe vera infused oil. So before we go, if you didn't like the video as yet, like it right now. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe right now. Share and leave a comment. And until next time, oh by the way, the next video that comes out, I'm going to be doing my wash. Yes, I'm going to be doing my full wash day routine with my aloe vera oils and leave-in conditioner. So, stay tuned for that one. And until then, Miami, you are you. Wow, good. Mm -hmm.